Now I remember in 2014, the first time I opened Tableau, I was overwhelmed with all icons and parts that we have in Tableau interface, and navigating through Tableau pages was very confusing for me at the start. And that's why I'm gonna take you on a short tour in Tableau interface. So let's go. Okay, so now let's go and start Tableau. And now the first thing that I want to show you is that the whole thing, the whole file, we call it a workbook. And the workbook is like any other book. It contains different sheets. And the Tableau workbook contains three main pages. We have the start page. It is the main page where you can connect our data to Tableau. And then we have the data source page. It is the place where you can connect and combine your tables together and do changes to the metadata like renaming columns and so on. And the third page where you're going to spend most of the time is the workspace page. It is the place where you're going to build your data visualizations. All right, so now we're going to learn how to navigate through those pages and how to switch between them. Okay, so once you start Tableau, you will be in the welcome page, the start page. And now if you want to go to data source page, we have to connect something. So let's go again to the left side over here, connect to text file, and then select our file customers and open. Once we do that, we're going to land automatically in the data source page. And now if we want to go back to the start page, so in order to do that, we're going to go to this Tableau icon over here on the left side. So if we click on that, we're going to go back to the start page. And if you want to go back to the data source page, we're going to click on the same icon. So click on that again, and we are back to the data source page. So with this icon, we can always go back to the start page of Tableau. All right, so now let's see how we can go to the workspace page. In order to do that, we're going to go to the bottom over here. You will find different tabs. The first one is always the data source tab. This is exactly where we are now at the data source. But now if we select the sheet, Tableau going to take us to the workspace page. And if you want to go back to the data source page, there is two ways to do that. First, we can stay at the bottom over here and we can select the data source tab. So by clicking on that, we go back to the data source. And the second option is that add a data pane. So if you go to the left side over here, you can see our data source customers. And if you double click on it, we're going to go back to the data source page. Okay, guys, so that was it. This is how you can navigate through Tableau pages. Let's have now a quick overview of each page. Okay, so let's start with the first page, the start page. We can see here three panes connect, open, and discover. In connect, we can find all different types of data connectors. And in Tableau public, we have around 10. That's enough for the training. But in Tableau desktop, we have over 90 data connectors. And now in the middle, we have open. Once you start Tableau for the first time, this section gonna be empty. But as you start creating new workbooks, Tableau gonna start showing you the most recently opened workbook. And this is really nice to have quick access to our workbooks. Here we have only one, the first phase that we published before. And on the right side, you will find Discover. You will find different stuff from Tableau team like blogs, news, training, tutorials, and so on. And now in the bottom, you can see informations about Tableau software. For example, now it shows that we can upgrade to Tableau desktop. Or later, once Tableau releases a new version of Tableau, you will find information here to update your Tableau. But since we just installed the most recent version of Tableau, it doesn't show it. Okay, so that was it for the start page. Let's jump now to the next one. We have the data source page. And by now you should know how to go there by clicking on Tableau icon. Okay, so what do we have here in the data source page? On the left side, you can find all informations about our data. In connections, you can find the connection informations. And in files, you can find all tables that are inside our data. And then in the middle, we have the data source name. And then over here, we have the area where we're going to build our data model. And it contains two layers, the logical layer and the physical layer. I'm going to explain that in the next tutorials. Don't worry about that. And beneath that, we have the data grid. It's going to show us a sample of our data. And as default, it's going to show the first 1000 rows of data. And in the left side, we have another grid. This is the metadata grid. It shows us more details about the tables fields. All right, so that's all for now. We're going to move now to the next page, the workspace page. And we can do that by selecting the sheet tab. Okay, so in the workspace page, we're going to spend most of our time here building our visualizations. 
That's why we have a lot of icons and stuff around. So let me quickly guide you here in this interface. Okay, so we're gonna start on the top. We have the toolbar. It contains a lot of icons and those icons are the most frequently used functions in Tableau. So as you are building your visualizations, you have a quick access to those functions. And as you might already notice, there's some functions that are not selectable. Well, you have to understand here that in Tableau, if something is grayed out, that doesn't mean that this feature is not available in Tableau Public, but it means it is not relevant for the visual now. So for example, if I go over here, it's gonna sort the visual, and since I don't have anything, so it's not relevant to sort it. Let's check the other icons. We have the Tableau icon. It's going to take us to the start page. You know that already. We have the undo and redo the last action in the visual. And as you can see, as I'm hovering on the icon, Tableau going to give me short description of the function. So here we can create a new data source or over here we can create a new worksheet and so on. So just hover on the icons and you will see the function. All right. So now let's move to the left side. We have here two panes, the data pane and analytics pane. As default, Tableau gonna show us the data pane, but if you want to go to the analytics pane, just simply click on it. So you can switch between them by just selecting them. So let's see what do we have here in the data pane. The first thing is the data source that contains our data. And below that, we can find the tables inside this data source. We have currently only one table, the customers, and we can see over here the fields or columns inside our tables. And here we have as well a search field. Sometimes our data source gets really big and we're gonna have a lot of fields. So this is a really nice way to search for a specific field. Okay, so now let's go to the analytics pane and you can find over here predefined functions that you can add to your visual, like adding an average line or doing clustering, or even you can create your own reference line. Really nice stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to switch back to the data pane. All right, so now let's move to the middle and you can find over here different shelves and cards. We're going to use them in order to build our visualizations and everything works here with drag and drop. So let's start with the first one, the rows and column shelves. The visuals of Tableau, they have two dimensions, the rows and columns, like any other tables. So if you put fields in the column shelf, it's going to create a column of the table. While if you put fields in the row shelves, it's gonna create a row of the table. Easy stuff. So now let's have an example. Okay, so let's go to the left side and we're gonna drag and drop the countries on the columns. And with that, we define the columns of the visual over here. So now we're gonna have something in the rows. Let's take the counts and drag and drop it on the rows. And with that, we define the visuals, columns and rows. So if you want to swap between them, you can go to the toolbars over here and click on this icon and you can switch between them very easily if you have a lot of columns. I'm gonna switch back and now we can add more columns and more rows. So for example, let's take the city, drag and drop it on the columns over here. So you can have multiple stuff. And now if you want to remove one of those columns, you can do that by drag and drop on the empty space. Okay, so let's move to the pages shelf. You can use it to split the current visual into series of pages if you want to analyze something like step by step and take it slowly. So let's have an example. Okay, so let's take again the customer count, drag and drop it on the pages. And now as you can see on the right side, we have a new window to control the pages. And now we are at the first page where we have countries with only one customer. So if we click over here on the right side, you will get the countries with two customers and so on. And now for the next example, I'm gonna remove it. So I'm just gonna drag and drop on the empty space. All right, so let's move to the next shelf. We have the filters. You can use it in order to filter our visual. For example, let's take the countries, drag and drop it in the filters. And now you can here decide which country is gonna stay and which country is gonna leave the visual. So now if I select, for example, let's remove France and click apply, you can see our visual don't contain now the country France. And now I'm gonna remove it again from the shelf by drag and drop in the empty space. And then we have the marks card. You can use it in order to design the visual. So for example, we can add new colors. So if we drag and drop the countries on top of the colors, we will get a color for each country, or we can change the size of the parts, either make it small or big, or we can add labels and so on. Okay, so now let's move to the middle. Of course, here we have our view. It contains visualizations or we call it visas. So first we have the title and you can change it by double click on it. Let's give it a name, for example, customers by country and then click okay. Okay, and below that we have our visualization and it contains different stuff. For example, we have the headers and here we have the countries 
and as well we have the axis. Now the intersection between those fields are the marks. And those marks could be like bars in this example, or could be a line, or circles, or any other shape. And now if we check the bottom of Tableau interface, you can find status bar. It contains a lot of details about our visual. For example, it says we have three marks. Of course, we have three bars. And we have one row and three columns. And the total number of customers is five. And now let's add more stuff to the visual to see how those status change. So let's take the scores drag and drop it in the rows and you can see here we have now six marks we have six bars we have two rows and three columns and those status are really important once your visualizations get complicated so now we have very simple one we can count it and see we have six bars but if we have a lot of dots and a lot of points it's really hard to count them so it's really nice to check the status bar to see details about our visual all right, so now let's move to the right side and we're gonna go to the show me icon. So select that. Now you will get different visualizations that Tableau offers. And by just clicking on them, you're gonna switch the whole visualizations in our view. So here we can switch it to tables or to pie chart or to tree maps and so on. So now just go and explore those different visualizations. And you might already notice that some of them are grayed out. We cannot use it. Here again, it's available but we don't have the requirements to use it. So for example, if you go to the line chart, here Tableau tells you what are the requirements or what Tableau needs in order to build this visualization. So it needs one date, it doesn't need any dimensions, and it needs at least one measure. And currently in our view, Tableau cannot create it because we don't have any date field in our view. All right, everyone, so that was the main component of the worksheet. Now, before we go to the dashboard, I'm gonna do a few stuff, you can follow me. Okay, so I'm going to undo those visualizations and go back to the bar. And then I'm going to create a new sheet. So I'm going to click over here, create a new worksheet. And then I'm going to take the countries. And this time I'm going to take the scores over here. And then I'm going to use the pie charts. And over here, I'm going to put some labels on it. Okay, so that's enough. Let's go now to the dashboard. We can do that by creating a new dashboard on the icon over here. And now we are at the interface of the dashboard. I'm not going to explain everything over here. It's just important to understand that in the dashboard, we can start combining different sheets in one place. So we can drag and drop the sheet number one, where we have the customers by country. And then we can take the sheet number two, just place it somewhere over here. And then I have in one place two visuals, the sheet number one and sheet number two. And this is the main job of the dashboard. All right, everyone. So now I'm going to show you the last type of sheets. We have the story. In order to create a new one, we're going to go to the bottom over here and click on this icon. And with that, we have created a new story. And stories in Tableau, they are like sequence of visuals. And we use it usually for presentations. If you want to tell a story from our data. All right. So what do we have over here? In the left side, we have the visuals that we created. We can see the worksheets and as well the dashboard. And then over here, we can add a new story point. And in the middle, we have in this section like navigator to go through our story. And then here we're going to present the story or the views. So what we're going to do now in the first one, we can drag and drop the dashboard. Let's do that. And now we're going to add a next step by adding blank over here. And then we're going to take the sheet number one. And then we're going to add a new one blank and then sheet number two so now we have like story it starts with the big picture with the dashboard and as we go through the story step by step we go more in details in each visual it's a really nice way to present or to tell a story using our visuals all right so now we have the tableau software installed we have the two training data sets the public account to share your work and everything is ready to start learning tableau so with that we have finished this section where we have prepared your environment to practice Tableau. And in the next section, we will do a deep dive in the Tableau data source to learn how to build a data model in Tableau by combining tables. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.